The number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Now well, this is what the workbench <coughs> gets to look like when you've been doing stuff. Um, so uh, let's have a look. This is the smoke test. So fingers crossed. Power in. Power on. Oh. Yep, amp and speakers are working. Yep, definitely amp and speakers are working fine. Dummy load. Does the rig transmit? Yep. So 20 meters upper side band. Let's just try one, two, three, four, five. Yep, that's working fine. That's working as I would expect. Um, let's see if the key works. So, uh, my favoured palm paddle. Oh, yeah, that obviously worked. <laughs> Great key, this. Yep, brilliant. That's working fine. Interesting how the uh, butt converter. gets uh, <laughs> tested with the RF. Let's have a look. So 16 volts in, 12 volts out. That's all working fine. Um, let's do a tune. One to one. And that's can't complain with that. Now, let's try the fans. I think I've got these wired the wrong way around, but let's have a listen. Ah, that's interesting. There's noise from the fans. Now, I think the noise may just be on the amplifier line for the two loudspeakers, the left and right loudspeakers, rather than it generated although it does go up with volume so if it goes up with volume that means that it isn't just the amplifier because the volume control is obviously turning up the noise from the radio could be that um, antenna noise would overwhelm it but turn the audio down and the noise isn't there try a different band let's try 17 meters. Now we can still hear it there. Turn the fans off and it goes. Now that's the lower speed. I've actually got that wired incorrectly. So, a bit of work needed to understand what's causing that and how to get rid of it. So, back to 40 metres, 7 megs. Okay, I'm going to go back to... 20 meters. Oh, 
Okay, then you... Okay, not enough supply voltage to charge the internal batteries, so I need to increase that a bit. Okay. All right, turn that off and do a bit of investigation. See what we can find to uh, sort out the noise. Firstly, let's. I'm going to go online and have a look at the spec of the fans. Because these are three terminal fans, that means they do have a TACO output, which I'm not using, but it might be that TACO that's actually generating the interference because it's obviously generating pulses. Um, but it is interesting with the Raspberry Pi, um, I've been through I think four or five fans before I found one that was RF quiet, quiet enough to run in the rig. Uh, other thing I've got to do, I've got to take the rig out of here again and I've got to fettle the, uh, the aluminium bar that holds the rig to the panel because it's not perfect there. It's great this side but it's not great that side, so I've got a bit of work to do with that. Right, let's get to it. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.